Fasting helps your brain to regenerate, helps your brain cells to regenerate. It boosts your brain to perform better. And the fasting helps your digestive system to have some rest. It helps you in detoxification. So fasting is a habit you want to adopt, doing it weekly so that you will, you will study with more efficiency. And then the next thing you want to do in order to stay healthy as you study to clear deficiencies is that you should exercise. Exercise regularly, at least twice a week. Low strolling, do not see it as trekking. Thirdly, you should ensure you sleep well. Sleeping well, helps your brain, your brain to perform better. Don't steal from your sleeping time. This is the mistake many students make. So don't steal from your time. And then the next thing you want to do in order to stay healthy and study with focus is that you should create a routine, a timetable, a timetable that is productive, a timetable that it that is spirit guided, a timetable that is smart, a timetable that fits into your peculiarity. Are you married and you still have some deficiencies you're all able to clear? Are you a boarding student or a day student? These are the things you need to consider and plan well so that you clear your deficiencies. Create a routine and obey it. Overcome disobedience to your timetable. I told you earlier about the habit of students studying in the examination, uh, studying hard when examination comes around. Creating a routine and including your studies into the routine will help you not to stress, to become stressed out during the examination period because let's take for instance if you study eight hours every day from the first if you study six or seven hours every day from the first day of your resumption even when the exam period comes around you will not need to stress yourself taking uh, studying till daybreak so that is why you need to create a routine and follow it religiously okay i've told you five things to do in order to stay healthy drinking water fasting exercising sleeping well creating a routine a timetable that is healthy and obeying it now i'm going to tell you two things you should avoid the first thing is junk food fast food that usually student take mostly during the examination period man junk foods have negative effect on your brain you gotta avoid that you need to ensure you eat healthy eat food available at your locality junk foods have little or no nutrition in them and if you are deficient if you have nutritional deficiency, that is going to complicate your academic deficiencies. So ensure you stay healthy. The second thing to avoid is this. Get ready. Let me tell you. Sugar. It is a hard one, but I, I have to say it. Even if you stop taking sugar completely, your glucose level will still be normal. Sugar harms the cells in your brain. Normally, the carbohydrate you consume has some sugar in it. So, by the time you add artificial sugars, you are getting it in excess. Then you gotta avoid sugar. 